Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We are here with Mr. Tan Chung Men, Group CEO of PSA International, who have just delivered a, a great keynote speech. Uh, thank you. Chung Men for your keynote and I would like to just ask you a couple of questions to deepen on what you have just uh, spoken. Um, so first of all, I, you know, we constantly talk about the digital transformation of the, in of the industry, but what's that, what does that actually mean in practical terms? Um, how do you think that P PSA is bringing the broader maritime and logistics sector forward in that regard? Well, it first starts with your own company and how the company uses digitalization uh, for its own purpose and then for the advantage of the community that it serves. Uh, so it goes back many years and it's actually something that doesn't stop. All right? So the first thing is you start from process and the port mm -hmm. and any part of supply chain is one that is very process intensive. So uh, we have physical processes. The question is, how can we look at the digital and the data aspect of a particular process and achieve better productivity? Uh, to do that, we need a good IT backbone. Mm -hmm. uh, we need IT skills. Mm -hmm. But over time, we realize that uh, there's also a lot of operational technology. Uh, equipment becomes uh, more automated, they become more intelligent, and therein uh, is a lot of digital capability as well. So if you bring IT and OT together, you start to have system productivity. Uh, in PSA, we didn't stop there. We started to think of how we serve the community and how this ITOT package in a good port interacts with community. So you start to think of uh, digital as an enabler uh, for the connection of processes between you and your users, whether it's a haulier, a service uh, freight forwarder, a shipping line, customs regulator, and so on. Uh, because ultimately, the port is about flow, right? Beyond that then, you're talking about uh, the reason for the flow, and that's the interest of cargo owners, uh, producers, consumers, people who order goods and people who produce them. And so how does that layer of digital uh, need get integrated into the rest of the port design? Today we are starting to work on that, so that's why I say uh, there's no stopping point. We keep building uh, layers of productivity, uh, transparency and the ability to create more solutions ultimately for our community and for our cargo owners. Um, I, I think in that it requires a lot of, uh, I would say, continuous mindset change, continuous learning. So a big element of this whole journey is about our people. We've got people who are uh, good at their skills, at what they do, uh, but also have a good sense of who they serve and how they enable first resilient logistics, but ultimately in the medium longer term, we are thinking sustainable trade, right? And uh, when you think with that as an objective, I think you start to own uh, community problems. And when you can own those problems, the company starts to solve them and uh, become part of the solution. Yeah, I think that's very interesting because you are connecting all the different aspects of the, of, of the board and, and the industry. And then just to uh, wrap it up and to give a message to the, to the industry. What, what would you like the maritime and logistics industry to have as a takeaway? What would be a key message for, for the well, sector in your views? I, I think firstly, we should recognize that supply chain is a team sport. Yeah. And COVID says we are not a team. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we don't have enough uh, of a well-trusted data environment mm -hmm. uh, for team to connect to each other. Uh, we don't agree by the same rules upon which the game can be played. And we don't listen to our customers enough as a team. Mm -hmm. Now, individually, there are many parts of supply chain that say we are very customer focused, but put together, we fail. Right. So I think we need to recognize uh, uh, that it's a team sport and uh, good teams need good rules, uh, good collaboration, and also a willingness to interact in a positive manner. So, I think there are many skill-based, process-based, equipment-based, technology-based components that need to get right. But if we don't get this mindset right uh, about the fact that it will take all of us to work together uh, to make the world a better place for you know, future production, future sustainability, 
I think we'll always be in this loop of we want to, but we are not doing it. Yeah, it is, it's true. Um, I think collaboration is definitely key. And well, uh, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. And gentlemen, you've heard that collaboration is a key message. So let's work together and collaborate. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.